This microphone's kind of distracting. Can can you all hear me? No. Like this? No. 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 This mic. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm the byproduct of a million shattered dreams. Here, my silent screams echo through the hollowness of my soul. 120 beats per minute, my heart pumping venom through my veins. It seems the pain of a crowded solitude has infected me. Some call me apathy. A little bit more than a post-traumatic stress disorder, I'll creep on you after the fact like a medically induced monkey pounding on your back and they ask the doctors, can you fix him? And they look down at me and say, listen here, son. Dissolve these pills about three times a day into your system and to the mother, contact a social worker and have him put away in a place where Quiet rooms will have his voice muffled and a few shots of Thorazine are sure enough to put him through a psychological shuffle where you can trust him into the gripping hands of the state. Raised youth have about a 90% chance of landing themselves in prison for oftentimes violent offenses. Where a young man writes his first flow, it goes. My pen hits the page with the ambition to paint a vivid picture through my pain, once insane, while youth in the game, no hope for change, looking for my next jokes while I earn my stay, learn to maintain the mentality of a hog. At 13, already lost deep in the fog, it started off through institutions at the age of six, learning how to fight just to keep my own kicks. Mastering my tricks on how to work the pigs, a rebel to the core, exercising my fifth. Started stealing G-Rides while I burned the splits. That's the first time I learned to drive a stick. Never had a pops, so it was gone on some couch. So now I sit in front of the judge, true stick up kid, politicking with thugs. Till the homie took me in, told me to pump the drugs. Vows filled with doom, serving beans up with dubs. Pockets getting fat, felt like nothing but love. Thinking it's a matter of time before I'm shot with slugs. I would have guessed it to be before the age of 21. But deep in my heart, I want to reach for the stars, wondering if life offers so much more. Though, he's just a boy who exists in chains. Inside a cold, dark room of painful solitude is where he'll remain. And I wrote, and I wrote as the quote, Echo through my brain. Crime is not a symptom, it is a disease, you see. I've never been the one to paint myself the victim of circumstance. So the question stains my soul with the ugliness of my conscience. Was I just born bad? Thank you. Thank you.